Now that you've seen converging lenses, let's have a look at diverging lenses. Like with converging lenses, there's three types of diverging lenses. We've got double concave lenses with two concave sides, plano concave lenses with a flat side and a concave side, and then concave meniscus lenses which have a very concave side and a slightly less convex side. Let's have a look at how images are formed with these lenses now. So what we have here is an image of parallel rays coming out of the light box. They're falling on the double concave diverging lens, at which point they're starting to diverge. So let's trace these rays backwards so that we can work out where the focal point is. So the focal point is back behind where they originate from, where these rays actually cross over. So you can see this point here is the focal point or the focus and this length here between the focus and the lens is the focal length for this diverging lens. So let's look at what happens now with the images coming from diverging lenses. So here we have a diverging lens in front of Little Man. As we pull the diverging lens closer to the camera, the Little Man shrinks. Let's look at ray tracing now to explain this. So here's our Little Man. Here's our diverging lens. We've marked on the focal points on either side of the lens. And here's where the camera, or the eye, is positioned. Now we use a very similar technique of ray tracing to what we used before. So our first ray we draw from the top of our object parallel to the axis of the lens and now rather than passing through this focal point on this side as this is a diverging lens it looks like the light is coming from here so we do the light passing through the focal point on the near side of the lens on the same side as the little man. So this is ray number one. Ray number two comes from the top of the man and it goes through the focal point on this side of the axis. However, it doesn't actually travel along this part of the path. When it hits the lens, it starts to move parallel to the principal axis like this. And finally, ray number three Ray number three comes from the top of the man and it goes through the very centre of the lens and then it keeps travelling in a straight line. So this is ray number three here. So you can see how we've had to change the rules slightly by changing the side of the focus that we were talking about in those rules. Now to work out where we see the image for this little man, what we have to do is trace these rays backwards because our eye doesn't take into account that they've been bent through the lens. So this ray 3 has already been traced backwards as has ray 1. So let's just chase ray 2 backwards. So ray 2 is going parallel to the axis like this. And so you can see that they meet up at this point here and so that is the top of the man's head and that is why the little the man appears more little. Now as we move this diverging lens closer and closer to the eye, I've left it as a task for you to show that the little man gets smaller and smaller. So now we've seen how lenses work, we can get a good idea about how spectacles work. So spectacles work by compensating for problems with our vision. So the optometrist tests our vision and works out if things aren't quite coming to focus in the correct place and then prescribes us glasses which compensate for our personal problems with eyesight. In the next video we're going to look in more detail at exactly how the human eye works and we're also going to look at colour vision which is a really fascinating topic.